Whoa. How's it going? Go Vikes. Go Vikes. Nice calling. Uh, go for it, Steve. Hey there, everybody. As Ryan mentioned, I plaster things. Plaster is a color integrated mud that's applied over surfaces in homes and buildings. Plaster walls are beautiful because they look three dimensional to the eye, but when touched by hand, are seamlessly smooth and flat. They're a fun and creative alternative to paint. Hasn't always been about plaster for me, though. I moved to small town Bozeman in the 90s, and I earned a degree in English literature from our very own MSU. Through college, I gained a deep appreciation for the arts, and I expanded my mind with a taste for the finer things in life. My degree wasn't just about literature, it was about an acute perspective of the world. For years, I longed to combine my two passions. I sought a solid union of plastered walls mixed with a sharp appreciation for the arts. I knew deep down that I wasn't just a plasterer. I really wanted my work and my walls to carry a more significant role inside Bozeman's history. As a response to my own self-worth, I taught plaster classes around the country, I read anything I could get my eyes on, and I researched materials both new and old. Of the three main plasters that are commonly used, I became widely interested in lime. And, like a true nerd, I went ahead and I jumped right in. Lime's amazing for plaster. Limestone is quarried and burned in a kiln, losing carbon dioxide. The resulting quick lime is slaked, creating hydrated lime. With the addition of water and sand, known as aggregate, which is very important, a plaster is made. As the plaster dries, it loses water, absorbs carbon dioxide, and changes back to limestone. It was at a plaster seminar in Albuquerque where my goals and desires of a well-rounded plaster really started to come to fruition. I met a lifelong friend named Ryan Shivers. Ryan's even more of a plaster geek than me and was eager to share his knowledge, especially a plaster, plaster, plaster practice he had learned on a recent trip to Morocco, Tadillac. No, it's not a car. It starts with a T. It stems from an Arabic verb, which means to rub. It's a five-coat process that integrates olive oil soap into the curing lime to render a wall totally waterproof. With the assistance of a stone for polishing, the plaster becomes amazingly smooth and shiny, and it's perfect for showers. Its history dates back 2,000 years when Moroccans first used the materials in water cisterns. Moroccan lime is the most prized in the world because of the brush that they use to fuel their kilns. The embers make up the aggregate and give the material a unique building structure. They also use oil extracted from olives to make soap to integrate into the curing plaster, which seals it. I'm mesmerized by the longevity of these ancient works of art. They celebrate form and function and were created with very crude wooden floats. Their design can be tailored to meet the theme of any home. They can be organic in form or flat, crisp, clean, and modern. I love that the end work reflects a unique, time-honored tradition. Shipping Moroccan lime is costly. Luckily, if we can understand the chemistry and the tools behind the material, material we, can un, we can assemble the components that comprise the system. Here in Bozeman, we carefully sift the marble sand and mix it with our own agricultural lime. Our homebrew not only drives the price down, but it keeps the carbon footprint, footprint local. The Moroccan wood float is an excellent tool for flattening the base coats in the prep stages of Tadillac, however, absolutely horrible for spreading finish coats. Luckily, my dear friend Richard sells inexpensive sponge floats at Kenya Noble. So, those painstaking five coats have now been reduced to three easy-to-apply coats. Moroccans also use plastic cutouts from oil cans to slick the plaster. We use stainless steel trowels. And since getting black olives shipped from Morocco would be costly, we use Kiss My Face soap and polish it into the plaster with a stone from the Windy Way Rock Shop, as opposed to finding one at the bottom of an ancient Moroccan riverbed. Now, we can augment the tools, but definitely not the process. Accurate application demands the use of four of the five senses. You need to listen and feel the plaster as you slick it. Smell the right ratio of soap to water, and watch as the polishing stone carefully closes all the pores. But don't taste it. It's bitter. <laughs> the process can't be rushed. Soaping too fast creates a slurry in which the plaster perpetually dusts. Too late, and the magic scientific window closes, and waterproofing characteristics are compromised. Take your time. Practice, watch, listen, feel, and smell, and you'll have a custom sculpted piece of art that will endure the test of time. Authentic art never comes from mushed work. This one small town is now the fastest growing city in the US, and for good reason. 
amazing outdoor opportunities, and clean air. It's an enclave for some of the freshest and brightest minds in the country. It's our duty to make this work of art called Bozeman endure the test of time. Now, just to be fair, I'm not claiming that Tadillac's ideal for all construction in our growing community, but I really think its mantra is. It represents craftsmanship, creativity, and a care and desire for beauty. And if installed correctly, following all the rules, it represents longevity that will transcend building trends. I've had the great luck to work in the, I've had the great luck of working in the trade since I was 16. I've seen elements of construction flow through multiple remodels for not only their beauty, but their function. The permanence of these materials lend a strong hand in the happiness of the homeowner. This internal joy radiates out from the home and into the community from generation to generation. So when you leave your house and head onto town, take a deep breath and enjoy the brighter points that are making this town famous. While basking in the glory that's Bozeman, let's not forget that as a town, we too, like Tadillac, are artistic works in progress. We're the aggregates that comprise the system here, and our collective choices will determine our future and our longevity. The same process that creates Tadillac, nature, has created this beautiful place we call home. So feel the snow at Bridger. Listen to the Yellowstone. Smell the spring rains downtown. And definitely listen to KGLT. <laughs> but don't forget to take your time and enjoy it, because this town is the finest thing around. So calmly hop in your Bozeman Cadillac, also known as a Sprinter van, <laughs> and enjoy the brighter points that this town has to offer. Be aware of your surroundings, engage your natural given senses, and that lost fifth sense of Tadillac taste that we discussed earlier, well, that can be remedied with a delicious glass of wine. Thank you. Yeah.